Hello again, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Home Team Magazine's Game of the Week. I'm Jim Wilson. We're here at Neshoba Regional to preview this Friday's game between the Chieftains and Shrewsbury. Game's at Shrewsbury at 7 o'clock on Friday. Should be a great game. Neshoba is coming into this game two-time Super Bowl champions. They're on a 27-game winning streak, and they're looking pretty confident. Meanwhile, Shrewsbury coming off a great win, a two-day win over Algonquin. They ran the ball a lot more than they have in the past, so Shrewsbury knows that whatever offense they bring on Friday, hopefully we'll give them the win. Well, you know, to keep the, the coaching in the family, you know, Jamie, I remember coaching against Jamie uh, in high school. He was a great quarterback for Neshoba, and Kenny's a legendary coach, and the fact they've won 27 games in a row is for a reason. They're a quality program, and uh, we'll have a hands full Friday for sure. It was nice to see a lot of the stuff that we've been teaching and preaching has, has come through in the first game, and we've also seen some things we need to work on. Um, so, you know, that's what we're working on this week and putting that towards Neshoba this week. We got Jeff LeMay and Emmanuel Jalbert in the interior. Um, um, you know, Jeff played a little bit as a freshman, and Emmanuel's come on since his sophomore year, um, and Garrett Pacey in the middle. That, that, that interior of our defense is, is definitely a heart and soul right there. Uh, Griffin Kucher, Sammy Hayes, uh, Jimmy Burney, we've got a lot of, a lot of guys um, you know, that are keeping our backers free and letting right. them run and make, and make plays, which is nice. Oh, the offensive line is just, uh, yeah, it, it, hopefully those guys will get going and just be a, a big blue and gold steamroller. They're going to be tough. They're going to be a tough group. They're a tough group of kids to start with. They run the spread. And uh, if we can stop that, we can, I, I think we can run the ball all over them. We always prepare for each game the same way. We try to get like the same mental preparedness. But I mean, the win streak for them is good motivation for us because we're just trying to take that down and get a win out of this game. We usually like like to pass, and it's a lot it's a lot different for Coach Wallace because uh, he's not he's not really a running type of guy. But we're very strong in the line, and I feel like we're going to do very well if we continue to run the ball. Shrewsbury is a powerful team. You know, they 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 ran the ball. You know, right at Algonquin and didn't turn back, you know, even even when they came back for that second day. I mean, DiLiberto had over 200 yards, you know, he's powerful, he, he's quick, you know, tough kid to bring down, so we're going to have to focus on that. And, and they have other guys too, not just him. I know they'll have some past stuff. I mean, you know, I've we played them three or four years ago, and, you know, they'll have some stuff from that. Week one, you probably don't have your whole playbook in there, so I'm sure he's got some stuff in store, definitely. We know they're pretty big, pretty physical. They're a good team. Uh, we look forward to the challenge, and uh, we'll uh, we'll see you Friday night. We're taking it one day at a time, one practice at a time, um, and uh, just showing people that we're still working hard. And you know, new season, we haven't proved anything yet, and um, we're just hungry for wins. We're trying to make our own history. We're trying to really focus uh, week by week and just focus on, in on each uh, weekly opponent and just get that win and really focus on just doing the trouble football away. You know, we we were all lifting all season. You know. Lifting at 6 a.m. before school during lacrosse season, I lifted every Tuesday, Thursday on game days, so it was something we all decided that we needed to bring to stay at this level. 